Hello everyone and welcome back to the Future Programmer YouTube channel. To wrap up the first chapter of the Java Basics course, today we will be making a fun Matlab program using Java. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started writing the Matlabs program, we have to know what Matlabs is. Well, here is the Wikipedia article on this word game. And if you go down to the format section of this article, you will see an example of the Matlabs game. We have, first of all, a story template, essentially, and we have blanks inside of this template. For example, this would be an exclamation. And here is an adverb, this is a noun, and this is an adjective. And the players will be entering words that matches the category of those blanks. So if the user has entered ouch for the first blank, which is an exclamation, then this will be inserted into the story template where the blank is. And the same thing with this adverb, which someone entered stupidly, and the noun here, which someone entered car and brave as the adjective. So this is the purpose, or I guess the goal of a Matlabs game, is to make something pretty comical, surreal, or somewhat nonsensical. Now with that in mind, we can get started writing our program. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. And rather than writing the program on the Replit Online Java Editor, I'll be writing the program offline on a local code editor called Sublime Text. And this is because I can more easily show you the code without having to zoom in and out of the editor. And you'll see what I mean when I get to Replit. So here I have made a file called matlabs.java, which is essentially a place where I can write the program. Let's think about what we want our program to do. Firstly, we want it to be able to get the words with, from user inputs. We want to ask the user for words and we can get these inputs and store it inside a variable so our program can use it later. Secondly, we want our program to output the completed story with the inputs put inside of it. So with that in mind, let's get started writing the program. Since we'll be getting user inputs, let's first import what we need. So import java.uto.scanner, which is the class that we'll be using to get the actual inputs. And then let's make a class since that's required for all Java programs. So class, let's call it main, since that's the kind of the required thing when we get to Replit. And then inside of this pair of curly brackets, let's write the main method. So public static void main string args. Again, don't worry about what this means. Essentially it's making a method. And here is what will be run when we run this program. So what do we want to do inside of the main method? Well, firstly, we want to make a scanner instance, which we can use to get the actual input. So let's write scanner as C, which is the variable name, which is equal to a new scanner. And we pass in system.in. And then we want to get the inputs. So let's write enter a name. So this is the prompt. We want to ask the user for a name. And then we use sc.nextLine to get the input and store it inside of a string variable called name. And then we want to write pretty much the same thing a few more times. So enter a name and this time it will be enter a type of animal. Let's call it animal is equal to sc.nextLine. And let's just duplicate this again. So enter an adjective. And let's call this adjective one. And enter another adjective. Let's call it adjective two this time. So now we have all the inputs that we need. We can get started writing the output of our story. So let's write system.out.println, let's write a story about a programmer, specifically a Java programmer. So name, which is the person's name, is a Java programmer. 
And one day when this person was writing a few, as use the first adjective, programs, the doorbell rang. Outside stood a very, as use adjective two, and animal, so a very something animal. And the animal essentially launched for the person who threw the closest thing nearby, which is a computer onto, or let's say towards the animal. And fortunately or not, name missed, but the animal was scared enough to leave name. So name's house, so like this. And this is the end of our story. Let's take a look at whether this program is going to work when I copy all this code into Replit. And the reason why I'm using Sublime Text is because you can see line 19 here, it's words wrapped. So it doesn't have to be an entire long line of codes like this, and it's able to combine it all into where we can see it, which Replit currently doesn't have unless you log in to create an account. So I'm going to copy this program and let's just paste it inside of our Java online editor from Replit. So I'm going to paste this and you can see this is currently a really long line, which you probably wouldn't be able to see all at once. So running this program, let's take a look at whether there are any errors thrown. Well, nothing so far. I can enter a name, let's say Bob, a type of animal, let's say a dolphin. An adjective, let's say a red and quote. So Bob is a Java programmer. One day when Bob was writing a few red programs, the doorbell rang. Outside stood a very cold dolphin. The dolphin launched for Bob who threw the closest thing nearby, a computer, towards the dolphin. Bob missed, but the dolphin was scared enough to leave Bob's house. The end. This is a pretty weird and unusual story that we were able to write in just five or not five in a few or 19 lines of code. So this is a pretty interesting story and I'm sure you're able to use your creativity to make even more creative and fun stories. And feel free to modify this story if you would like, or you can write your own story entirely. And that's it for this video as well as the entirety of the first chapter of the Java Basics course. If these videos were helpful to you, please consider subscribing to this channel down below. And with that said, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.